Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Micron Insight 2019. Brought to you by Micron. Welcome back to Micron Insight 2019 in San Francisco. You're watching theCUBE, the leader in live tech coverage. We're wrapping up our day, Dave Vellante with David Floyer. Rokia Jones is here. She's the senior principal for 5G connectivity in the GPM group at Microsoft. Great to see you. Great to see you guys. It's been a wonderful day. Yeah, nice job Thanks. up on stage today. Yeah, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about 5G and get your perspectives on it, but tell us more about your group and sort of what you focused. Yeah, um, well, you know, I'm in Azure and Azure is, even though it's our cloud infrastructure, uh, there has to be a lot of backbone support. So inside of networking, we have all those components that would support the physical structure of uh, cloud technology. And so we focus on virtualizing a lot of the different managed services that we have, and we provide those to customers for scalability and sustainable models uh, that allow them to pretty much uh, transport data safely. What's it like inside of Microsoft these days? I mean, what a transformation of the company. I, I, I did a little segment on LinkedIn the other day, a little video segment. There's a lot of ways, if you want to spend some money, there's a lot of ways to spend money with Microsoft. <laughs> you know, you got cloud, you got application management, you got security, you got all the apps. I mean, SaaS, really, yeah. is, is, you're hitting on, on all cylinders. It's, what a dynamic. What's it like inside of there these days? You know, I think, I think the world now is very different. I see Microsoft making a huge transformation over the last, I've only been there three years. Uh, but what I can say to you is that I see that the opportunity is there for partnership now, which is something that I don't think we focused on and we did too well in the past. Uh, with our new CEO, Satya Nadella, and Peggy Johnson, who leads our business development. I mean, we are really taking the, the game and just changing it and make it, making it more something that we can do with everyone instead of in silo. And so the culture is, is definitely changing. Um, is there opportunity? Yeah. Uh, but I think our company is uh, dedicated and focused on you know, creating more diverse technology uh, that can meet to customers' needs all over the globe. Yeah, I mean, look, look, Windows is still a huge part of Microsoft's business, but it's not the future of Microsoft. It's very, very impressive to see that transformation. All right, wh what should we know about 5G? What's Microsoft's p point of view on 5G? What's the opportunity for you? Well, that's a great question. Um, a lot of people were like, Microsoft and 5G? How does that work? Um, well, in the past, uh, I think with the telcos and all the communication service providers, um, we've always been either their customer or they've been our customer. Um, the new world that we're going into now is, how do we help the telcos now be uh, better enablers so that we can accelerate business? And so I took over this charter uh, along with my boss, Yusuf Khalidi, um, and about a year ago. And uh, our vision for what we thought we could do uh, came to really great reality when we understood the, the ecosystem that already existed. Uh, this, this business of 5G is not as simple as it sounds. So what we've decided to do, and we released a press release back in July, um, was we we're going pretty much all in, in a sense, with AT&T and helping them with their global strategy for um, really wireless, you know, to help stabilize their wireless network and combine some software-defined principles and capabilities to what they're, they're already planning for in the future. So I think with that transformation, honestly, a lot of it is unknown, but uh, we're taking it day by day. Yeah, we were talking earlier about a lot of it's unknown in terms of like what apps are, are, are going to emerge, who's going to pay for what, but, but there's a lot of hype around 5G, certainly a lot of folks in the technology community are excited about it. Yeah. Um, help us understand what's real and, and what's not, what's <laughs> hype and what sort of things that users can actually expect. And wow. when, I want to know exact months and yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's a deep question. You know what, I think um, if you can imagine it, it's a possibility. Um, I think it all boils down to the type of partnerships. I always say that um, it's the power of three, in the sense. Um, in the past, it's always been the power of two, where two companies come together and we can make it work. Well now, you need, you need an extra component. Uh, not only do you need a company like Microsoft, but you need a telco, but you're going to need a system integrator, right? And I'm not talking about the hardware side, but more of the software, software yeah. application side. Um, I think if, if, if a lot of people talking about like these things. We know that smart city, we think that's a possibility real soon. Mm, I still think we got a way to go uh, with a lot of the townships and the city infrastructures moving so slow with governmental policies changing. Uh, I think that we can likely see improvement um, in connected vehicles, connected um, you know, internet of things, internet of everything is coming. 
we first must be able to connect the dots with those things first before we actually bring in a government entity. Um, I think they have a lot of questions that we're not yet ready to answer. And so I think there's a lot of great need for POCs. And uh, that's what my team focuses on um, inside of Azure Networking, is looking at what can be the next POC where we can help truly define a next generation requirements. You're kind of acting as the accelerant. I, I, I yeah. like the power three analogy, you know, bump, yeah. set, spike. Yeah, right, You know, exactly. pass, shoot, score, right? I, 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 <laughs> you we, love, we love sports <laughs> analogies on the, on the cube. And then, you know, your, your point about, I think governments is right on. I, I was saying earlier to David that I participated in a you know, mayor of Boston as this you know, smart city future initiative. And you're talking 2050. Oh yeah. You know, that's oh, their yeah. time horizon, oh, yeah. trying to figure and that out. And that's right around the corner. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't yeah. believe we're about to be in the 2020. Feels like I just graduated from high school. Yeah, yeah I'm still 25. <laughs> Me too, it feels that way anyway. <laughs> it does. <laughs> but when you're looking at these opportunities, there seems to be a big uh, divergence of opinion in terms of networking between are you going to push the processing out to the edge and do as much of it possible there and only take the, uh, the, the uh, subset of data from that processing, or are you going to bring it in to some sort of center to do, uh, do the processing there? Yeah. Well, what, are you, what are you seeing in your 5G uh, as the models of uh, putting together compute, storage, and uh, networking? Yeah, um, for me I have a, this is Rokia's opinion, um, but I, I think that um, in the future when we talk about compute, um, we need to be able to chop it up and we need to sell it um, to individuals. Um, individuals could be enterprises or consumer. In my world and the way I think about this, I think that we have an enormous amount of opportunity uh, to give customers freedom and flexibility. If we're not able to give them freedom and flexibility, I think that we really limit the possibilities of what truly 5G can bring. And so in my world, um, I believe that you should be able to um, prepay for your computing power. I believe that you can literally distribute it among all your devices within your families, like you know you have the um, family rate plans that the telcos are selling. Well, think about this, in that family rate plan, now there's an additional component that you will sell, which will be compute. Um, I may not want to go as fast as you. So like for gaming, for instance. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. okay. yeah, gaming for everyone, and uh, at the speed of what you need. So atomic, uh, of components of compute that you can actually assign to yeah. individual users, applications, workloads. Yeah, if Satya told me tomorrow, Rokia, what do you want to do? That's what I'd say. <laughs> 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 and your son would be in there with the gamers. Absolutely, at, uh, the he totally wants to do that, uh, yes. Latency. Okay, so what, what are you doing here? What's the connection between sort of Microsoft, your role, and you know, this Micron Insight event? Well, my, Micron is a, um, a great partner uh, with, with Microsoft. Uh, I think we do a lot of business um, as it relates to chips. Um, I specifically am here because Peggy Johnson supports the company and she's over our business development uh, operations for the companies and uh, she believes Micron um, is onto something. And so um, I'm proud to be here and getting to know more about uh, the businesses at Micron and uh, the partnerships that we can create in the future. Well, we, more partnerships. That yeah, we obviously, create. you need memory and storage to run all this you stuff. You totally so, do. You uh, can't do without it. Part of the build out. Yeah. Well, yeah. Rakia, thank you so much for yeah. for coming Absolutely. on the cube. We'll give you the last word. Um, your takeaways. What should we be watching for from from you and your group? Mm. Yeah, I mean, um, I think that uh, as we go forth with uh, our partnership with AT and T, which happens to be one of the global carriers around the world. Um, we are planning for some amazing things and we will make announcements at our Microsoft Ignite event in uh, early November. And so I hope that everyone will attend that event and uh, perhaps support us uh, by sharing the information and coming to talk to us about new partnerships with our cloud networking department. Great, well we'll be there at, yeah. at Ignite. Hope to have you back on, that'll be Absolutely. great. Absolutely, uh, great, thank, thank you. you. And, and thank you everybody, thank you David Floyer, great job with the crew. Well, this is a wrap from Pier 27 at Microsoft. <laughs> Micro, Micro, <laughs> Micro Insights. Uh, you know, <laughs> Micro, I'm, I'm blending Microsoft and Microsoft, both same, same names, right? Insight Better Conference, Micron that Insight 2019. That's Better right. That and uh, <laughs> check out siliconangle.com, check out thecube.net for all the videos, and we'll see you next time. This is Dave Vellante for David Floyer. Thank you.